Hey everybody, it's Scott at Scott Trades on Twitter with StockMarketMentor.com and your chart of the day. Want to follow up on a chart that we showed you last week. It was just before the election and we did a chart of the day saying, don't watch the news, watch Netflix instead. And I meant watch the Netflix chart. And if you took this trade, it's actually working out great here. It's well extended above the eight day exponential period moving average right now. So I think it's a bit too late to take this trade. But if you did take this idea, I would definitely consider a stop loss right around that 457 level. That's the low from the breakout day. Now, maybe you don't wanna give all that back. Maybe you wanna have a bit of a staggered stop setup. You could consider one right around 788, but that'll keep you involved if you have a lower stop, if the stock does pull back. If we look at the market right now, you know, the market looks like it's just trying to rest a bit. It had a really nice move. We had a lot of really strong breakouts, but it seems in my opinion, like it's probably due for a bit of a retest of the eight day here on QQQ and on the SPY. So I'd like to see the market come into the eight day. And if that happens, then you may end up getting taken out of a bit of stock here, but maybe you don't want to get taken out of the entire position. Maybe you want to have a little cash on the side and then buy any bounces pending this long-term trend on Netflix does continue. So that's how I would manage this trade. If you're in it right now, if you took the idea that we shared last week, if you didn't, I think at this point, like many stocks in the market, you just got to wait for that pullback whenever it comes. And we'll be watching for it over at stockmarketmentor.com. So I hope that video is helpful. Give me a follow on Twitter, if you don't already, at Scott Trades. I'll see you next time.